So we are now in the run screen. So the first thing we have to do is choose a pattern type. So the different options we have is just to map the headland of the field, to do your headlands and your AB points, which is most common, to do your straight AB or just to do your A point. So the first thing we do is click on this green box here and this is where we have our different options. So we have option one, which is just map the headland. Option two, which is map your headland and have your AB point. Option three is pivot. Option four is just set your AB point. And option five is just set your A point. So it will give you your AB in the direction of your tractor inside in the field. Option six is for a curved line. So for the most common out of all of these would be option two or option four. So option two, the headland. We click here and it's automatically set. It says number of circuits two. So the circuits represent the amount of times you go around the headland. So for mowing, we would have maybe five, six circuits. For spreading fertilizer, you made a one circuit. So if I change this to one circuit, now it says, do you want to create an infill pattern? So that's basically my guidance line, my AB guidance lines. So I always say yes. And it says what type? So we'll click AB. Press our tick. So now, when we start at the gap of the field, we start recording, start driving the boundary of your field, you press your A point, and then it says you have to drive at least 30 feet away to select point B. So you select your A point and your B point on the best ditch in the field. So this will, be, this will determine the direction of your AB guidance lines. So once you drive 30 feet away, and press point B. Point B will be highlighted once you drive 30 feet away. Drive the rest of the headland of your field back to where you started and then press your tick, your green tick. It will then create a closed boundary for the field and it will give you your headland guidance lines. So whether that's one guidance line or whether you've set it to six guidance lines on your headland for mowing. To change then from your headland pattern to your what's known as your infill pattern, which are your guidance lines uh, in the middle of the field, up here you click on this button and at the moment as I don't have it set up it won't let me do it, but this will change your guidance lines from your headland to the centre of your field. The next option we have to set up the field is just choose your a b point so again click on this green box click on a b and it's on the best ditch in the field you click point a drive at least 30 feet away from point a in order to set point b once you have point b set you then press your green tick and again it'll give you your a b lines right across the field, the specific distance part. Another handy tool in this screen, in your own screen, is your paint function. So the paint function, you would always turn on your paint function when using the machine or using the implement, and you can turn off your paint function when not using the implement. So this is the button for your paint function. So when it is green like that, the area you have covered will go yellow on the screen and it's off there now the last function is your light bar so you can see you're veering slightly to the left here and we also have the speed and what acres are worked on in the field so if you went into a five acre field and turn on your paint function for the area you have sprayed 
are spread or worked on, you will clearly see under the acres tab here what areas within the field you have covered.